Good afternoon all. On my desk I have two new items. Um, this box of two Sainsbury's LED filament light bulbs. Um, I bought this for £8, so that's £4 each. Uh, they are 806 lumens and then you get this strange thing that says 6 watts equals 60 watts. Yeah, we know what that means. It'll draw 6 watts of energy. It's the equivalent of 60 watts incandescent. And then there's this light meter. It's a mini light meter, uh, UNI-T. It's the UT383. Uh, this one I didn't buy. This was very kindly supplied to me by Banggood.com. So thank you very much. Uh, details about this item will be in the description below. So I think you can probably guess what I'm about to try and do here. Yes, I'm going to measure the brightness of this bulb with this light meter. Right, let's take one of these bulbs. Um, they're Bayonet uh, BC22, I think that's called, isn't it? Bayonet Cap 22 millimeters. Let's put it in the socket and switch on. And yeah, that looks pretty nice. It's an LED filament light bulb. Right, now let's take a look at this UNI-T light meter. Um, I fitted batteries to it already. Not my favorite configuration. Three triple A's. Mm. Right, press and hold to switch this thing on. And what are we getting? Well, this thing measures in lux or foot candles. Mm. Let's go for lux and let's see what we're getting. Uh, about 1900. Oh, and if I bring it nearer, uh, 3800. And if I take it further away, uh, the point is the readings just don't make any sense because the closer I bring the meter to the bulb, the stronger the lux value is. So can I really use a light meter that measures in lux to measure the lumens output of a light bulb? How am I going to do that? Now, of course, the problem I've got here is that I'm using two entirely different units of measurement to measure two entirely different things. Uh, lux is the SI drive unit of illuminance and luminous emittance, whereas the lumen is the SI derived unit of luminous flux. How do these things relate to each other? Now, one thing that both lux and lumens have in common is that they're both weighted according to the luminosity function. Uh, this one, weighted according to a model, a luminosity function of the human eye's sensitivity to various wavelengths. So if you can't see it, then lumens and lux won't measure it. So for example, infrared and ultraviolet, no lumens, no lux. It was the other way around, wasn't it? Now, there is one thing here which gives me a little bit of hope. Lumens are related to lux in that one lux is one lumen per square meter. Mmm. So if I could get all of the 806 lumens which are coming out of this light bulb and get them to fall on exactly one square meter of area, then this should measure 806 lux. How am I going to do that? Well, let's imagine the light bulb here. Uh, light bulb. Oh, no, that's naughty. That's tungsten filament. But never mind. Let's imagine that surrounded by a transparent sphere. Um, not a circle, a sphere. So a three dimensional sphere, which is kind of invisible. All of the light, since it radiates out in all directions from this light bulb, will land on the surface of this sphere. So what we want to do is make the surface area of this sphere equal to one square meter. Now the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared, where r is the radius of the sphere. Now, since we want the surface area of this sphere to be one square meter, we need to make this equal to one. 
And if I rearrange for r, then r equals the square root of uh, 1 over 4 pi. Let's work that out. So we want the square root of 1 divided by 4 times pi. I don't need to close the brackets. So it's 0.282 meters. So R here, the radius of the sphere, sphere needs to be 0.282 meters or 28.2 centimeters. So if I put this light meter 28.2 centimeters away from this bulb, I should be able to measure lumens as lux. Let's try it. Right, let's switch on the lamp. Oh, we've got a light, lot of light coming in through the windows. I'm just going to shut the blinds. Right, let's switch on the bulb. And, well, it's not a million miles away. It's 800 and something, but this is very unscientific because I've got reflections coming up off the green mat. I've got light still coming into this room. What we really need is a completely dark space. Mm. So I've come into the dining room because the dining room is a pretty dark room. We've got dark furniture, dark furnishings. There's a couple of small windows over there. But if you look at the amount of light that's leaking into this room, if I switch on the meter, it's only six lux in this position. So what I've done is I've set up the bulb hanging off the table exactly 282 millimeters above the light meter. Let's power it up and see how many lux we get. And uh, the answer is a rather disappointing 82 lux. Now we should be getting 806 lux for 806 lumens. But I think what's happening is we've got a bit of a shadow area here. And if I bring this round, you can see it gets immediately much lighter. So I think what's happening is from the end of the bulb coming downwards, we've actually got very little light because of course these LEDs mostly radiate outwards. So yeah, it's not going to be very scientific, but I do need to reorientate this bulb so that we're seeing these LED strips side on, I think. Right, now so the bulb is kind of side on, it's just a slight angle. It's uh, almost exactly 282 millimeters above the uh, lux meter. And we're measuring 782. We should be getting 806, but it's pretty close, isn't it? Well, okay, it's not very scientific, is it? But I just wanted to get the light meter 282 millimeters away from the bulb. Unfortunately, the way these LED strips are laid out, it doesn't throw equal amounts of light out in all directions. But there we are. We've got something close to 806 lumens. So although in theory it's possible to measure the lumens output of a light bulb by measuring the lux at this distance so that all the light falls on a one square meter area, in practice it's very difficult and this bulb clearly doesn't throw light out equally in all directions. In fact, this is generally done with a thing called an integrating sphere, which is a big spherical metal chamber painted all white on the inside so that it captures all the light and throws it back into a central point and the total light amount is measured there. And in fact, all I want this thing for is to measure the relative brightness of uh, pairs of bulbs. So I might want to measure the relative brightness of an LED replacement uh, brake light bulb with a conventional tungsten filament brake light bulb and of course to say that one bulb is brighter than the other it's very easy with uh, the lux measurement. Now the thing I always get asked when I do a mini review is how accurate is it? Did you check the accuracy? Well I can't can I because this is my only lux meter so this is my reference standard so well I have to assume it's accurate. So there we are, lumens are related to lux in that one lux is one lumen per square meter. But look, lumens are defined in relation to candelas as one lumen equals one candela steradian. 
I'd never heard of Steradians. I have now. Cheerio.